Hi guys, it's Taylor from A Dog's Best Friend. I just wanna let you all know that I did get myself a Christmas puppy. Um, and you know, a lot, a lot of you guys are getting new dogs and new puppies bringing into your home during this Christmas week. So I just wanted to hop on here and talk about a few things that you can do with your dog starting from day one. Doesn't matter if it's a puppy or a dog. First thing, crate training. Start using the crate right away. When it's sleeping, when it's not supervised, or when you leave the house. Um, this creates a safe space for your dog, and it really helps in the future if you have to neuter or spay your dog where they either hurt themselves and they have to stay down in relaxed. Crate is a great place to be. Second thing is, is potty training. Potty training is human error. I know, sounds crazy, right? If you are constantly letting your dog out, letting your dog out on a leash, <laughs> I have a training dog in here and she's just like, let me go play. Um, potting your dog on the leash, staying in one spot outside often and frequent. Um, we do have a potty training video on our website. If you are struggling with that with your new dog, you can go check that out. Um, but making sure that your dog has boundaries in the house as well. Um, you know, secluded to one room, things like that. That will also help with potty training um, so they don't get the free roam of the house. Another thing is, is hand feed your dog its meals. I know it sounds crazy, but it will help build your guys' relationship as well as creating focus and engagement with your dog. Uh, this will help for future training as well. Um, you can start looking at um, how to click her condition, things like that. To start teaching the basics to your dog. We also have videos on how to do that on our website. And that way, you know, it will help you guys um, improve your relationship um, as well as uh, help us trainers out when you are ready for training. Another thing to think about is exposing your dog. I know it's really hard with COVID right now, um, but getting your dog out, even just out into the world, taking your dog on a walk um, in a neighborhood, taking your dog to the vet. All dogs need to go to the vet, getting them exposed there. Uh, where Wherever you buy your dog food, usually it's at a pet store. All pet stores are dog friendly. Making sure you're bringing your dog into there. Uh, I would stay away from the dog park. Um, you don't know what the other dog socialization is like and what their behavior is like. Um, so if you're wanting to have doggy play dates, things like that, uh, I would look for a structured doggy daycare, like a dog's best friend. Put a leash and collar on your dog inside the house. Get them used to that. That way, you know, when you're working on things inside your house, you can apply them to the outside and they won't be as scared. This is the most important one, especially right now during this pandemic. Do not coddle your dog 24 seven. Don't do it. It will create separation anxiety. And right now with a lot of us working at home, it is hard to have that separation. So combining with the crate training and the structure at your house, make sure you're not coddling your dog 24-7. Um, yes, give it some loves. It's so exciting to have a new dog or a new family member inside your house, but making sure that you provide the separation um, and not holding your dog the whole time because they're going to realize that you are just a pack member and not a pack leader and you want to be a pack leader to your dogs. Grooming, um, lifting their mouth up, playing with their feet. Uh, if you have an electric toothbrush, have the electric toothbrush go around their feet. If you have a, a dog that requires grooming uh, as it gets older, you know, get them used to brushing, things like that because that will help your, your vet that will help your grooming and that will help your trainer when uh, it is time for them to go to those places. Last thing, don't forget to reach out to a dog's best friend. Uh, we have training tips, we have grooming tips, we have socialization tips all on our Facebook and our YouTube channel. 
as well as we'd love to meet your new family member. Um, and if you need a trainer, if you need a groomer, if you need your dog to stay somewhere over the weekend where they're comfortable, or if you would like to have your dog to have doggy friends at doggy daycare, um, give us a call. Thanks guys.